Hey, 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 welcome, welcome to Crystal's Crystals. I'm Crystal, and we're going to get into my crystals here in a second. I'm just clearing the air with my Palo Santo, clearing out that negative, bringing in that positive. All right, if you guys want to know where you can find this Palo Santo, I offer it on my website, which is going to be in the description box below. So first off, thank you so, so much for being here. Um, if this message resonates with you, let me know down in the sec comment sections below. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I'm posting uh, more readings. And today we're going to get into what the week of December 7th through December 13th is going to be like. What is the energy surrounding this week? All right, so if you're interested, keep watching. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. Angels, ancestors, guides, those who walk before us with the greatest good and heart to none, please give us true, accurate information about the week ahead of us, December 7th through December 13th. What is it that we need to know? What information do we need to help further us to our greatest and highest good between the week of December 7th through December 13th? All right, you guys. So we have at the bottom of the deck, the hermit. So the overall energy for the week is going to be the hermit. And so what the hermit is usually good for, he goes in within and he looks for um, answers. He, he gets his enlightenment from going within self. Um, so this may be a week of reflection where you're reflecting on what's the next move that you need to make. Um, how are you going to make that new move? Um, what type of energy you need to be in to get to that next level? You may be goal setting or something at this time and trying to figure out how you're going to get to that next step. Uh, and spirit is calling you to go within to get that enlightenment as above, so below. So when you go inside and you fix things on the inside things on the outside um work themselves out for you as well okay so that's some beautiful energy for the week all right let's see what monday is going to be like monday december 7th what's the energy one card spirit for monday december 7th thank you so starting off monday there's some information that you've probably had that you've been sitting on and that makes sense for us getting the overall energy so you've probably already gone within and you've gotten this enlightenment now usually when the hangman is right side up he's he's gaining this information and he's looking at it from all different perspectives but what i'm getting is that you've already gained this information you've already looked at these different perspectives and now it's time to act on what it is that you need to do um definitely could involve some speaking definitely could involve some hard work um speaking some truth to someone that could um further along um the growth of something or stop the growth of something but only you know it's going to be a lot of people watching this video but what we're getting for monday is that you are going to act on some information that you have okay it's going to propel you forward all right let's see what tuesday is going to be like tuesday december 8th what's the energy thank you spirit on Tuesday, we have the judgment in reverse. So uh, this information that you have come upon on Tuesday, when the judgment is upright, it's about hearing that call, following your calling. You may be blocking this call, or you may not be hearing this calling, and, and Spirit is urging you to pay attention to the details that are around you, because that's going to give you further confirmation of what it is that you need to do to go to the next level, okay? All right, so then we have Wednesday, December 9th. What can we expect for Wednesday, December 9th? What's the energy of Wednesday? Thank you. 
who have got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. All of the cards are in reverse this week. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles upright usually talks about um, putting yourself into work, um, learning a new subject, um, mastering things. Um, with the reverse, maybe you're taking a break from work. Um, maybe this could be a week of taking a vacation, but it's you're not really going to be stressing on your finances, stressing on work. It's more like taking a break and just, you know, letting things flow, going with the flow, not trying to control anything this week, all right? So let's see what Thursday is going to be looking like. What's that energy for Thursday, Spirit? Thank you. <laughs> page of Pentacles in reverse. So the Page of Pentacles upright speaks of, again, self-mastery, learning about um, your money, learning about um, what to Plant, learning, you know, just learning something new with the page of pentacles in reverse. I'm getting that whatever, um, something as far as finances may not be going according to, um, plan or you may stop putting any effort into, um, what you thought you may have wanted in the beginning something that you thought may be lucrative you may be deciding that this is probably not the best way to go and thinking of different ways to again move forward so what i'm getting is is basically you know um you're finally getting enlightenment on something um whether it be finances i see a lot of pentacles here so i'm thinking it's more finances or something that you've invested in that's tangible you may be finding out that that wasn't exactly the way that you wanted to go and and this week is encouraging you to look um look further or you know figure out maybe a different route but again, you would have to go within to figure out what that route would actually be. So let's see what Monday is going to be. Let's see what Friday is going to be like. All right. <laughs> oh, Friday. What's the energy surrounding Friday? One card for the energy surrounding Friday. Awesome. So we got justice. So again, um, by Friday, you have balanced out whatever this conflict is between you. Um, in the beginning of the week, you have um, gotten an answer. Um, and look, in the beginning, we had the hermit and he was turned around but this one is now facing us so so definitely whatever this situation is it's going to come to light it's going to come to balance it's going to propel you forward and it's going to be a gift from uh you're being guided by the ancestors trees are um usually family things like that so you'd be guided um spiritually forward but again it's going to bring about balance it's going to bring about a new um foundation because red is about foundations it's about that root chakra and then um the orange is usually helping with that solar plexus so it's going to help propel you forward you're going to get this new passion once you um see the actual truth and things are balanced out okay all right and that's friday let's see what saturday's energy is going to be like yeah, there's also going to be some truth here because I see that sword against the tree in the background. So there's going to be some truth coming through on Friday and it's going to balance everything out. It's going to confirm what you already suspected from the beginning of the week, okay? So then we have the Five of Cups on Saturday. Again, this decision that... Um, or this enlightenment that you get on Friday is going to probably by Saturday finally like hit you. But instead of you being in that energy of being sad about this spilled milk, because you got this energy or this information, you'll be able to move forward and not be stuck in this state of depression, this stuck state of sadness, because you'll pick up those two cups that are already still full and be able to move forward with whatever this situation is it's going to be different because a lot of different people watching the video but let me know what your situation is if you care to share it down in the comments below okay and let's see what saturday is going to come 
not Saturday. We did Saturday. Let's see what Sunday. And we're going to finish out the week Sunday, December 13th with that energy around Sunday. Thank you. So we got strength in reverse. Um, usually when it's up, it's something that you're going to have to be strong for. It's something that you've um, been trained for. But I'm feeling like this is going to be more like you can let your guard down Sunday. You won't have to be uh, at full attention and trying to make sure that you're controlling everything. Um, you're going to be able to go with the flow. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're going to be able to go with the flow better come Sunday. Um, things will clear out for you and it won't seem so um, bad or, you know, the, it, it won't be such of a shock, such a sting, right? So we're going to recap what I'm getting. Like I said, there's some type of uh, decision that you're going to have to go within, some type of information that you, I guess you're going to be putting um, effort into figuring out if that information is actually good, tangible information. Um, judgment, you're going to be having to, you know, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open to make sure that, you know, this information that you are trying to make sure if it's going to be the correct information, if it's actually leading you on the right path. You got the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe you're going to figure out that this um, may not be something that you want to work towards anymore. Um, you may realize that it's not um, information or it's not something that is, you want to put any effort in anymore. You're just, you know, not not wanting to plant, it, plant this seed anymore. Um, and... You're going to get information that brings justice and balances everything out for the week. So by Friday, whatever you are keeping your eyes open about, you'll know the actual truth on Friday. You know, And it'll balance everything out for you on Friday. And then you got Saturday where you won't be feeling uh, in such shock anymore. You'll be able to move forward and figure out what it is that you actually truly desire. And then by Sunday, of course, you'll be going more with the flow. You realize that you don't have to be in fight mode anymore, that you can just relax because everything has been worked out for you good, okay? So that's what I'm getting for the week. Let's get a card from spirit to close out this reading for the week and to see if they have any more extra messages that we should know about okay? and more any extra messages that you have for the collective And it flew out. Give me just a second. <laughs> All right, so we got Dearest You. Pump the music, bang the drums, get on up and start that hustle towards your goals and dreams. There are times to be still, but this is not one of them. Now's the time to make that first move. Say yes to life. Pick up the phone, make that decision, and take that one step toward the gods or us. Expect the cascade of changes, good news, and opportunities to show up as if by magic. Well, we know it's really spirit and all of us moving things around for your benefit. The point is that we are saying, go for it. Take a positive action towards your dreams. Even if the outcome isn't an exact fit for your agenda, it will all be orchestrated by spirit and arrive in divine appropriate timing. Don't you just love how it all works? We love you so much, okay? So like I said, beginning of the week, you uh, have this information about where it is that you want to go, what it is that you want to do. Spirit is saying, you know, pay attention to the red flags. Make sure that this is going to be the right path that you need to be on. Um, you may figure out that this is something that you don't want to work on anymore. And it's okay to move forward because you don't have to plant that seed. You can plant plenty of different seeds because you'll finally, by the end of the week, have it all figured out. Everything will come to light. Everything will balance out. You'll realize that, again, your ancestors, that's what was on this card. They're working for you. Spirit is working for you to bring everything right so you don't have to feel sad depressed lonely mad because you uh things didn't go the way you intended for it to go because sometimes spirit 
always has better for you. You just be able to go with the flow, okay? So beautiful, beautiful message for the week. Uh, let me know at the, how this uh, resonates with you by the end of the week again. If you um, if it resonates, or you know, you know somebody that it may resonate for. Please, 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 please share, like, subscribe, comment below. Also, if you want to get any of the items that I purchased, you can visit my website, which will be in the link in the description box below. And also, if you want a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below as well. Again, thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you guys for helping me grow my channel. Uh, and I hope you have a great rest of the day and a great week. All right. Peace out. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.